hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn the drawer component from indesign we will see how we can open the drawer component on any side on the left right top or the bottom and then we will see how we can add the title inside the drawer component how we can render different content inside that how we can add, add the footer in the drawer component and then we'll see how to make uh, this mask as closable we can add the close icon inside the title or inside the content to, to close the drawer. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the drawer component from end design and start using it. So it will be drawer and to make it visible uh, we need to set the visible prop to true. So if I set it here you go it has shown the drawer right and inside the drawer we can uh, return any react component as a, as its content so maybe we can say a p tag this is the content of drawer and save it this will show here right and we can uh, add a title to the drawer as well so that will be the title prop so we can say drawer title save it here you go and similarly we can add the footer as well so that will be the footer prop and here we can say this is the drawer footer save it here you go the drawer footer and here we can uh, do anything we can render anything here and if we want to show the drawer without uh, the close icon we can do that as well uh, we can say the closable is equal to false save it so it is without uh, the close right and if you want to open this drawer uh, on click of the button uh, we can do that as well so let's add a button we, maybe we can say open drawer and let's add a state to to toggle the state op open and close so we can say use state and we can say visible and set visible to false by default and imported from the react and on click of this button uh, we can say uh, set visible to true and uh, for this visible prop we can make is make it dependent on this this state so when we click on this button we will set the visible to true and then the draw will be shown and when user uh, click on the close icon here and uh, then we can say on uh, on on that close uh, we can again set visible to false right so it is set visible to false okay so by default it's visible is false so not shown if i click on this button so it will show it and this is the uh, the drawer mask if i click on here it will uh, close right uh, if we want to only to be closable by the cross button without this mask we can say mask closable to to false right and now if I click on here it won't be closing it and there's nothing uh, there that can be closed we can add the button here uh, if needed uh, to close that so we can say button we can say close and here on click of that uh, we can say set visible to false right save it here you go so close open close right so there are multiple ways to uh, close this one so one is this closable to true the second one is mass closable to true and the third option is this uh, this custom button right so we can close it from here we can close it from this button and we can close it from here right and there are multiple options to uh, show this drawer one is to the from uh, right side then is from left from top from the bottom 
so that is available uh, from the prop placement and inside that we can save from where it should be appearing if it is from the left side if i save it it will appear from the left and if it is from the right it will go to the right it is if it is from the top it will appear from the top and if it is from set to the bottom it will appear from the bottom right and we can close it from anywhere and if we again make it to left it will go to the left right and here in inside the drawer content we can show anything maybe we can show the left side menu or maybe we can show the login form or the sign up form so whatever we want to show inside the drawer content we can render that here accordingly right so that's it on exploring the drawer component from end design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you